Okay, this is the charger that we use for our LiPos for Nerf applications. It's a IMAX B6, so it's a four button charger. It does multiple things. Um, does LiPos, does NICADs, does NIMH batteries, it does lead acid batteries. Um, just a word of, of safety, we're, we're dealing with um, LiPo batteries, so they're to be treated with respect. Um, you do anything silly with them, they they can vent and explode. So if you use them, use them the proper way, the way they're intended for, you'll have no problems with it. But yeah, of course, if you do something silly, um, they can hurt you. So what we're going to go through is just a couple of functions that we need for our LiPo charging. Um, I know it's very confusing first off for people that purchase these chargers. These chargers can do a lot of things. Like I said, it does lead acids, all different types of um, charging um, programs for different types of batteries but we're just going to focus on Nerf applications which is for, for LiPos and we only need to need, need to know really just two things um, we're going to do a LiPo balance charge um, so that's charging and balancing the cells all at the same time and the other thing we're going to do simply is the storage function which when you're not using your battery pack for, for extended li lengths of time um, you can put it in a storage mode. So it's simple as that. I'm going to keep it very simple. There's just those two functions that we'll go over and that's about it. Components and connection. We've got our main battery charger here. We've got our power supply and we've got our charging leads and a adapter, a Dean's Tech T60 connector. So we won't plug it in the wall yet. So from our power supply we've got this connection which is the DC 11 18 volts so that plugs in there to the charger on the other side we've got our charging leads we've got our red and black red goes to red positive black goes to black negative um, this has got a Dean's connector on the end of these leads um, most battery packs you get these days that we use um, have an XT60 connector so you'll need a um, an adapter a Dean's XT60 connector so that plugs in like so and then we have our, our battery and you can see our battery connector here XT60 so that plugs in like that so that's our charge discharge lead and then we've got our balance lead which you can find in here it plugs in here so you plug it in the appropriate slot that will fit so that's our connection all set up there um, you can now plug the power supply into the socket and turn it on. Okay so once everything's all hooked up correctly um, we need to find the LiPo battery section so if you're not in the LiPo section section you just need to hit, keep pressing the battery type button and that'll cycle through so keep pressing that till you get to um, LiPo. So we've got LiPo battery here so we want to go into that so we press enter. So we want to do a LiPo charge, but we want to do a balance charge. You can do a normal charge, but I always do a balance charge and that's with the, um, with the balance lead connected. It makes sure that each cell, like a 3S for example, each of the three cells are charged at equal levels. So you're not going to have one low or one high. So that's the advantage of a balance char charge compared to a normal charge and it's just plugging in an extra cable so I don't see any any hassles with doing that so to navigate left and right we want to go right and look for lipo balance so that's it here um, now we need to change the settings so on the left here we've got the amperage so we want to change that to the to the batteries milliampere hour we need to match it to that and also the the voltage of the um, battery as well so this is a 3s which is 11.1 volts. So to do that, um, you press the enter key once to get into the to get into it. Now we want to match this to the milliampere hours of the battery. So this battery here is 1,000 milliampere hours, which is equivalent three decimal places, one, two, three to one amp. So you can see this is already on the correct setting. You can go left or right. Um, for example, this this battery here. This is a 2,200 milliampere hour too. So for that battery, if we needed to charge that, you would increase that three decimal places. One, two, three, it's 2.2. 2. 
so you'd change that to 2.2 but for our purpose we've got a thousand milliamp per hour battery so that's one amp so one amp enter and now this is selected a 4s so we need to change this to 3s which is 11.1 um, volts so that's flashing we just go left to decrease down to a 3s 11.1 volts and enter to put that in now when you're ready to start charging you just hold down the right button so hold it down and it does a quick check just to make sure you've got some settings in and it's all, all okay and then it's another press just to start the process and as you can see there it's um it's a lipo 3s um, charging at one amp um, current voltage is 11.64 um, that's yeah it's a balanced charge it's showing you the time and that's that's the input into the battery um, even though this is a it's 11.1 volt battery 3s when when they're actually fully charged it's over over 12 volts you can ne navigate if you ever want to stop at any time you just hit the stop button and it'll stop it you can probably do that now so that, that stopped it. If you want to start it again, you hold down and start the process again. Does its check, enter the start. So when it's charging, you can you can do some navigation things. If you press right, that's the advantage of your balance charge. You can actually see each cell with a 3S, first cell, second cell, third cell, and you can see the voltage of each individual cell, and you can see if there's any dodgy cells, they should, should be, um, very similar to each other as it charges up. Um, if we go left, you can see the end voltage of a 3S is 12.6 volts fully charged. Um, and you can see uh, current voltage is 11.7. So that, that'll finish. When it finishes, it'll finish at 12.6 volts. Um, and it'll beep and it'll say when it's full, it'll beep and then you can um, press stop and disconnect. Okay, the other thing that's that's handy with this charger is the storage function, and this this is to be used like if you you're not using a battery for for weeks at a time. So um, what it does, it puts it the voltage of the the lipo back to its nominal charge, which is its its rest position, um, and you're you're supposed to get a bit more life out of it. Um, some people do this, some people don't. So um, it's a handy function to know. So I thought I might show you. So all you do is. Do the same thing you don't need to plug in the the balance lead just the charge discharge lead um, just scroll through to the right or left um, look for the storage function you, you do exactly the same thing you input everything else so i'd say it's a, a thousand milliampere hour or one amp so that's correct um, enter that and it's it's not a 2s we want to change it to a 3s lipo 11.1 volts enter that and then to start it again hold down the button it does its check um, actually, no, it starts starts off doing itself. So you can see the current voltage is 11.47 and you can probably see that actually is going down. Um, if we look, go to the left, so you can see the end voltage, it's going to bring it down to 11.44 volts. So it's, um, yeah, as you can see, it's actually bringing it down. So if it's if it's over that charge, the storage function will, will bring the voltage down and even if it's below this end voltage, it'll actually charge it up to get to that nominal nominal voltage. Just a couple of other things to mention. The IMAX B6, there's quite a few copies around, um, so rip off copies of these. Um, I definitely recommend getting the, the genuine IMAX B6, so just, just be aware there are copies around. They're, they're a little bit cheaper, so get the genuine one. It's only a few dollars more, and you know you're getting a quality product. Um, the other thing I might mention is the is a battery alarm. With lipos, if you discharge them too much, um, you can you will damage the the lipo. Um, and this is just a simple simple alarm that plugs into the balance lead, and you can see on the back there um, the alarm will actually go off when. Um, any cell gets below 3.3 volts. Um, the buzzer will sound and the red light will will flash. So that's a good sort of safety um, that you can plug into your balance lead um, like this. Like that. So that's 
armed and ready so it, it'll detect if the, the lipo charge gets too low and it'll sound off an alarm so it's a handy thing you can if you've got enough room in your blaster you can you can put that in as well and it'll monitor your um your voltage and make sure it doesn't get get too low um thanks for watching the video guys hope that helped out i tried to keep it as simple as possible um so in, any questions just let us know and um thanks for watching